Suki Ho. Today I am going to share with you about hospitality in a Buddhist perspective. Hospitality is a very interesting topic given by the Buddha, especially in the Sigalavada Sutta, Diganikai. I think you all want to be hospitable. You all want to be a good person to other people. The only thing that uh, the ways and means how we can be hospitable is that we treat somebody with some food or things like that. But in the Singhalavada Sutta of the Diga Nikaya, Shakyamuni Buddha said that there are four ways to treat anybody, any being, to make him or her happy. The first is dana. Dana could be in that context giving. So, when you offer dana to a sangha, it could be uh, to mainly to give up your noble greed, then dosa, hatred, and moha, delusion. But uh, when you give dana, food or beverage, just to somebody, it could be a little different. It may be the same, but you are trying to make that person happy him or her happy. That is the first thing. So, treating or being hosp hospitable uh, with dana. That's the first thing. Second is payya vajja. This is a Pali term for payya vajja. Payya means pleasant. Vajja means speech or words. So, you can be hospitable or you can practice hospitality by speaking pleasant, good words. Pleasant speech is not everywhere. So if you practice pleasant speech, being, I would say, pleasant with somebody in your speech, that is the second way of being hospitable to other person. So uh, I would say it is, a, it is a step further than dana. That means you can always start from dana and then go to pleasant speech. Pay your watch. Third is Atta Charya. Atta means, I would say, uh, happiness, or I would say, well being. Charya means uh, the behavior, or I would say, the life. That means you are wishing someone well being. That is even higher than dana and payavancha, giving and present speech. That means you are not first aiming at the third one, third way of being hospitable. You have to start with dana. Understanding that you can increase your hospitality. So that means every time when you think about somebody, when you get to see somebody, when you look at something, someone, you always wish good things on him or her, happiness. Like as you always say, suki ho or suki hontu, or may you be well and happy, so and so. That has to come from your bottom of heart, not only just by saying that to somebody. You need to make it. Sometimes you may you may not make it. But in your deep down heart, you should be able to wish. So it's a heartfelt which comes from the bottom of your heart to somebody, maybe all beings. That can even actually extend to animals, you know, every being in the universe. Because the Buddha said, you should not exclude any being when you are to do good things. All right, let me, let me go back again, the uh, three uh, things that you, by which you can be hospitable, you could see dana, giving, generosity, then payyavacha means a pleasant speech. Third is atta charya, or this which means wishing well -being. Last is samanattata, samanattata, attata means oneself, Samanatata, impartiality. That means you are wishing, or I would say, you are wishing reasonable, I would say, uh, not being biased. You are wishing unbiasedness towards anything, any problem, any situation. That is the highest way of being hospitable to anybody. Let's say you are a decision maker, you are somebody in a company, you are someone in a family, you are somebody in anywhere. Whatever, whatever you do, regardless of 
whatever the situation arises, you are going to be impartial, unbiased, so you are creating justice. You are giving the best out of the situation to anybody. When you are biased, that means you are not hospitable. You can't practice hospitality according to Buddha. So the last way, I would say, the method that you're going to be hospitable is samanatana. That means you're going to treat everybody as uh, you, which means you never do anything that you don't like to other people, right? Sabbe satta marisanti, every being uh, is subject to die. Because of that, uh, you understand, sabbe tasanti dandas, uh, right? That means uh, every every being is terrified at uh, punishment, I would say, at uh, torture. In the same way, you look at every being, both from uh, innocence, uh, happiness perspective, at the, at the same time, you are looking at problem side. Whenever you are engaged in a problem solving, decision making, uh, I would say, context, you are always going to be unbiased. That will be the highest way of being hospitable. One more time, dana, generosity, payavacha means uh, pleasant speech, and attacharya, well being, and samanatata, impartiality or being unbiased. Being, uh, unbiased. Uh, that means these are the utmost, I would say, the most ways of being hospitable according to Buddhism to anybody. So try to be always hospitable, try to practice hospitality and continue your Dhamma path, Dhamma journey. Thank you. Have a good day.